So here we're going to have a look at some of the worst slums you'll find in the world. And the slums we're talking about today are not found in Asia. They're not found in Africa. They are found in Central Europe. So what makes these slums some of the worst slums in the world? The fact that we are in the middle Central Europe and within the European Union. That's right. These slums are all found within the EU. Now we know that the EU is comprised of 27 very wealthy countries within Europe. So it's unimaginable that you would find such poor conditions of housing. Within a lot of those countries, you will find Roma, also known as gypsies. People that have migrated from India, for some of us in the West, we have had government support in these strange and unusual times. But imagine you live in a country that is part of the EU and yet you don't get any of that support. You don't get the support to allow you to get clean drinking water. You don't get support to help you have electricity and to get heating and you don't have the support which allows you to feed your family. In communist times when they were under one communist regime then both Roma gypsies and the local population worked hand in hand and it wasn't difficult to maintain jobs and work in the local factories. Well, the fact is that uh, Roma people have been living in Europe for over 800 years now. And it seems that there seems to be a systematic approach by the government of the various countries that we mentioned and over time they've uh, stopped collecting their rubbish they haven't maintained the sewer systems they've slowly cut off the water supply and have also cut off the electricity even though bills have been paid so as a consequence over time, slowly but surely, these places have be become, have turned into slums and they seem to get worse and worse every year. So the fact is that uh, this problem has been going on for decades, if not centuries. And for the fact that uh, not only does the local government, but nor does the central government of each of these countries, and neither does the European Union, which shows that there's a systematic institutional racism going on where all of these government agencies blatantly refuse to acknowledge the problems of the Roma Gypsies. So what are the possible solutions for this? So obviously the possible and uh, quickest solution to this is for the government and the European Union to open up its eyes and to repair the endless damage which the governments have inflicted on these communities for decades if not centuries. 